Like many players, our next inductee was introduced to lacrosse by his older siblings and began playing minor lacrosse in his hometown of St. Catharines at age nine. Little did that nine-year-old know he'd be involved in and contribute to the game for some 50 years. After completing his junior eligibility in 1977, he began coaching minor lacrosse, first in Oshawa and then from 1985 to 99 in Whitby. While coaching in Whitby, he became president of the local minor association, a post he held for six years, from 1996 to 2001. In 2002, he was instrumental in the establishment of a minor lacrosse association in Clarington, a community a short distance from Oshawa, and from 2001 to 2005, was general manager of the Clarington Junior B team, guiding them to Founders Cup national titles in 2002 and 2004. In 2008, he founded the Ontario Sioux Junior C League and was the league's commissioner until 2011, when he became the box lacrosse sector chair for the Canadian Lacrosse Association, now Lacrosse Canada. He held that position for six years, then in 2017, became the CLA's Director of High Performance and International Relations. Clearly, that left him with far too much time on his hands and not nearly enough sleepless nights. So in 2017, he began Commissioner of Major Series Lacrosse, a job he held until last year. In addition to his coaching and administrative roles, he has acted as convener for over 25 national championships, including Pee Wee, Bantam and Midget Nationals, Founders Cup and Minto Cup Championships, and most recently, this year's Man Cup in Peterborough. His contributions to our sport have been recognized both provincially and nationally. He received the Ontario Lacrosse Association President's Award for Service in 2005, and in 2006 was made a life member of the Whitby Minor Lacrosse Association. He received the COA Recognition Award in 2011, the Queen's Jubilee Award for Service to Canada in 2012, and in 2014 was inducted into the Ontario Lacrosse Hall of Fame as a builder. Over some five decades, he has made monumental contributions to the game of lacrosse, both on the floor and in the boardroom. Please welcome to the Hall of Fame, Doug Louie. Good evening, everyone. It's, uh, it's great to see everybody in person again after a two-year hiatus uh, due to the uh, awful pandemic we're uh, hopefully out of, um, or at least getting to the end of. Um, again, it's, it's great, great to be uh, Great to be out here. Um, let me begin by um, thanking my uh, my nominator for uh, for putting my submission in and checking back on a regular basis to see whether it was up to date and accurate. It's much appreciated, and uh, and also thank the selection committee for uh, deciding that um, my. Uh, my bio was worthy of consideration, let alone uh, getting uh, getting the nod to uh, enter the Canadian Lacrosse Hall of Fame. It's uh, it's certainly appreciated. I uh, would also like to uh, congratulate uh, my fellow inductees. Um, pretty astonishing careers, amazing careers that uh, you had, and uh, and congratulations, well deserved. I was out in the US in, uh, in 2015, I believe, um, and, and uh, I paid close attention to the acceptance speeches given that night. I knew a lot of the people that were going in. Um, and what I walked away from that night was um, the, the speeches that talked about um, not their, their own accomplishments and their achievements in the game and the trophies they won and the points they got, et cetera. What they talked about was their teammates. And I thought that was quite telling, you know. They talked about their teammates and the lifelong friends they made, you know, whether they started playing at a very young age or whether they started later. Um, it was the teammates is, is what they walked away from and, and wanted to talk about that night. And I, I thought that was uh, really interesting. And I think uh, when I was thinking about uh, putting my acceptance speech together, uh, I thought about kind of a, a different kind of team. Um, when you're a builder, you uh, you get involved after your playing days are over, and uh, 
you, your teammates become the managers and the coaches and the volunteers, game day staff, you know, people doing the game sheet, the time clock, um, equipment managers, trainers, sponsors, ball boys, ball girls, people put the programs together. I mean, the list is endless. And uh, I've been very, very fortunate to be surrounded by really, really good people um, who don't get their names on uh, trophies and they don't get awards, but they're, they're there volunteering their time um, for the love of the game and, and support of the game. And, and I was, again, very fortunate to, uh, to have had some really good people around me. Um, my name might be going up in the wall, but uh, I certainly share uh, the honor with them. Um, I, uh, I really do appreciate everything you do for the game. I think um, if somebody had told me a long time ago that, um, that uh, there'd be over 70 countries playing this game now and we'd be on the verge of re-entering the Olympics, I would have had to question their sanity. Um, but I think it's uh, the inductees in the Canadian Lacrosse Hall of Fame and all those volunteers that work tirelessly behind the scenes um, that this sport continues to grow and, and sh is showing no signs of slowing down despite the pandemic. So, uh, so I think the future looks good. Um, I hope that my time in the game, I never looked at uh, going to the rink as a chore, but rather a privilege. Um, because uh, while involved with the game, I did get to meet uh, so many great people, not only locally, provincially, nationally and internationally. It's just uh, lacrosse people are different. Lacrosse people are better. And uh, I really I really thank them all for that. And, and finally, I would like to uh, thank the uh, Canadian Lacrosse Hall of Fame and its volunteers. Um, for all the work they do to recognize the people that um, to give back to this game in, in so many so many ways it's uh the growth of the game is in uh, no sm small part uh, due to your efforts so thank you and enjoy the rest of your evening ladies and gentlemen doug louie <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.